Today FM. Today, Today FM, FM rocks. rocks. Today's hit music on Today FM. In this bulletin, authorities remain diligent in COVID-19 containment. Illegal logging strips away revenue. And government committed to small businesses. From the studios of FBC Suva, Atera Lendua. The Ministry of Health is leaving no room for complacency in its continuing effort to contain COVID-19 in Fiji. With the sixth active border quarantine case on Tuesday, Acting Permanent Secretary for Health Dr. James Fong says all cases are being treated in isolation at either the Nandi or Lotoka hospitals. Dr. Fong adds that they are diligently enforcing border quarantine and infection control protocols and these cases continue to pose zero risk to the public. Fiji's latest COVID-19 border quarantine patient is a woman repatriated from New Delhi in India on the 27th of last month. We have uh, testing protocols that are uh, in place to ensure that all the quarantine staff, all those men in quarantine sites are adequately uh, tested uh, as and when required. But more importantly, we, uh, our protocols are more specific to the staff that is manning the isolation site in the hospitals. Eh? And that's the place that we uh, put a lot of energy into to make sure that the people that are manning those isolation areas are adequately screened and quarantined as per uh, uh, protocol. Director for Environment Sandeep Singh has been cross-examined in the case against Free Soul Real Estate Development Limited. The company is charged with one count of undertaking unauthorized development and failure to comply with a prohibition notice. It is alleged that Free Soul carried out development on the dry land at Wadia in Malolo Island without an approved environment impact assessment report. The direct environment under cross-examination said she exercised her powers under the Environment Act to issue a stop work notice to the company on 1st June 2018. She says the work in Wadia was due for an EIA as construction was being carried out in a sensitive area. Singh also says without an assessment, the company should not have done any development regardless of whether they have a lease. She also confirmed the prohibition notice was only for Wadia and not for other leases the company holds on the island. The hearing continues in the Suva Magistrates Court. Illegal activities are rife with the forestry sector and need to be curbed immediately. Forestry Permanent Secretary Pene Balenambuli says illegal logging is a major global problem that strips the economic livelihood of local communities. Balenambuli adds illegal logging also deprives Fiji of much needed revenue. We also have a responsibility to protect the environment. So we need to make sure that they are complying with uh, harvesting uh, standards uh, to minimize the impact on the environment. Uh, increasingly, we also would like them to replant uh, what is being uh, uh, cut down. The Fisheries Ministry will provide coastal communities with boats to help curb illegal fishing, especially the use with the use of explosives. This comes as more reports of dynamite fishing have been recorded by the ministry from parts of the Western Division. Minister Semi Koroi Lavisao says the use of dynamite is not only an environment risk but a health concern as well. He adds people who use dynamite for fishing risk major injury or even death. The handling of dynamite is a, health, is a risk in itself because of injury, but then the fish that is consumed, they are damaged fish because when, you know, when there's water explosion and then kills fish, the fish is not as fresh as it is being caught by other means. The government will continue to support initiatives that promote locally made products and small businesses that play a role in economic development. Defence Minister Inia Serratu says the government will venture into new development models of resilience, inclusivity and sustainability to boost economic growth. Serratu is also urging farmers to diversify their produce after the decline in the tourism sector due to the COVID-19 pandemic. These align seamlessly with the government's initiatives in promoting Fiji's agricultural sector. 
which is an important pillar of Fiji's economy. The agriculture sector contributed uh, around 1.1 billion to Fiji's gross domestic product, or GDP, in 2018, a continuing growth of five, year, five consecutive years of the agriculture sector's contribution to GDP. Single mothers have been one of the most affected by COVID-19, but the Solo Moms Project has been providing life skills to help them manage. The project not only teaches mothers life skills, but also encourages them to be creative and identify what they're good at. This year, the project is looking after 16 moms, most of whom have been laid off from the hospitality sector and are looking to start their own business and support their families. International Needs Fiji Director, or Executive Director Tomo Raivu says, going into this seventh year, the Solo Moms Project has looked after more than 70 women in the Central Division alone. You know, the, the program has really um, you know, helped them in, in a way that they can uh, we can reach out uh, to those women uh, who may not have any or much opportunities in life and uh, who are homestay mothers um, and but you know within them they have a desire they have a hope and they have a dream um, so th this program really is you know um, sets them for the future up ahead drug tests from this week and skip a cup and Delta Tigers wary of jet setters Bula FM, number two and a Bula FM, number two and The Fiji Rugby Union will begin the first round of drug tests at this week's Skipper Cup matches. FRU Chief Executive John O'Connor says they're working with the World Anti-Doping Agency on how to carry out tests in large-scale competitions. O'Connor says any player testing positive for drug use will be subjected to judicial processes and sanctions imposed by World Rugby. We almost reaching an agreement on how we will select players and the matches that uh, they will select eh? and we look forward to commence that process this week uh, in the matches that uh, they, they will select the matches and uh, they will take samples from players and we'll do testing. Eh? The Suva rugby side know it will be an uphill battle as they prepare to take on Nandronga in the Skipper Cup on Saturday. The Suva side doesn't want a repeat of the Fairbrother Sullivan Trophy clash in round one where Nandronga edged Suva 15-13. Manager Nemani Tuifangalele says Suva will be banking on its strong forward pack. Um, uh, as always, I think uh, it's the um, battle in the front. I think it's the forwards that um, uh, they are focusing on. And we have seen the, all of their last uh, seven matches. I think uh, their forwards have been very strong. And I think that's the area that we will be um, trying to execute it right. If we have the opportunity, we will be uh, able to match them. It's an all-important clash for the Food City Rewa football side, preparing for one of its toughest Vodafone Premier League matches. The Delta Tigers will take on revamped Nandi on Sunday, aiming to seal their spot at the top of the points table. Tale Matairakula with the story. Rewa came away with a 1-0 win against Nandi in round three, but coach Mari Karondu says the Jet Setters are a much improved side since their last encounter. When you look at the, the second round, uh, round of matches, uh, Nandi has secured six points. So two wins out of two. So uh, probably they are the most uh, informed team in the second round. Rondu has studied Nandi's style of play and is mindful of the physicality they bring to the field. I know how they will work to try and counter uh, our team. So we have... Uh, Absorb uh, a lot of information from them during the uh, during the BOG. So we'll see if we can uh, work with those information and uh, uh, get the team ready for the weekend. Captain Setereki Hughes says the team has no doubts about what they are in for come Sunday. It's very important for us in order for us to maintain that uh, spot on top. I think uh, the coach has been. Uh, mentioning to the boys that uh, this week's game is uh, very important and uh, it's uh, 
they should go for a win. They will host Nandi at 3.30 p.m. at Ratudakbo Park in Nusori. This match will be live on FBC Sports and radio commentary will air on Mirchi FM. Tali Materkula, FBC Sports. We can expect occasional rain, heavy at times, and a few thunderstorms over Vanuolevu, Tavuni, Kandavu, and nearby smaller islands in the Lao and Lomaiviti groups. Similar conditions over the eastern parts and interior of the larger islands. Localized heavy falls may lead to flash flooding in low-lying areas. And that's your FBC News Now. Join us again at 7 p.m. for our major bulletin. In times of crisis, you need news you can trust. Get the verified facts from FBC's TV, radio and digital news. fbcnews.com.fj, keeping Fijians connected with the truth. Keep safe. Bula FM, number two and a Bula FM, number two and a